The hills are alive with music. So I'm just going to start off this movie review saying that I'm not a big fan of musicals. Not really at all. In fact, I'm mostly forced to watch them. And out of all the ones that I've watched, I've only liked three of them. And, well, one of them I got to see live. Wicked was so good. Oh my god. The music was so good for that one. Second one, Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog. Oh, Joss Whedon is amazing. But Neil Patrick Harris has one hell of a voice. He is amazing. And then the third movie, Moulin Rouge. I actually loved this movie. It was so good. The music was great. Granted, it wasn't original, but the way it was put together using other contemporary music, such as Smells Like Teen Spirit from Nirvana with other songs, or using Roxanne, that was great. Like, I would buy the soundtrack just to listen to songs I heard from other bands that originally did it. I mean, especially because Ewan McGregor. Oh my god! That guy is amazing! How can no one like Ewan McGregor? I mean, I, I want someone with balls to come up to me and actually say Ewan McGregor is a shitty actor because ugh, I would punch them in the uterus. Not to be sexist, but Ewan McGregor has a voice where it was just, before he was born, the angels came out of the sky, at least 50 of them, and they said, let us combine to form Ewan McGregor. And he, has, he just has this voice where a baby's crying for 50 minutes, and as soon as he sings, that thing's asleep, and I just eat that shit up. I mean, he is good, man. And just the way it was filmed, like, when it transitions to maybe from where they were first starting out to the Moulin Rouge, it was a trip, man. I'm not gonna lie. I know if I was baked, I would love that. Not that I get high or anything, because I don't, but that's not the point. Either way, it was a trip. And the first song in the Moulin Rouge... That was really slow, I'm not gonna lie. They, they could have cut that down by a lot. Even though I understood the point of it when he falls in love with the girl, by the way, who dies if you didn't get that from the beginning. Just saying. And some of the other songs were just kind of funny, especially when that one guy, uh, I don't remember the names, I apologize. But when he's singing about Roxanne, who he falls in love with. Roxanne, you don't have to turn on the red light. It's just hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard that, I started busting up. It was like a really shitty Arnold Schwarzenegger musical, except it was good. It doesn't make sense. Instant contradiction. And the female actor, she was good. She has one hell of a voice. So, uh, overall, I thought this movie was great. I, I recommend seeing it if you haven't seen it, you're just kind of watching, like, Totally Awesome, just to watch it, because it's, like, totally awesome. So I'm gonna end that there. But, Mr. DeFranco, I highly recommend that you review V for Vendetta. Like, this is such a good movie. I have this here just for this review. Just to let you know, I mean, like, it's a legit movie. It's one of the top five movies I ever made. I highly recommend reviewing it because I will just talk about this. Not for over five minutes, granted, but oh, Natalie Portman, man. She's hot, even when she's bald. I would hold her hand so hard, it's amazing.